Well, today is September 11th, 2021. That means that it has officially been 20 years since the 9-11 terrorist attacks, uh, both in New York, on the World Trade Center, the Twin Towers, and the Pentagon, um, as well as, of course, the plane that went down in Pennsylvania, which I think was headed towards the White House, but I'm not sure. Theoretically, this would be the time right now where I would tell my full story of what I remember from that day. But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you see it, I can't. Because I don't have a story about it. You see, I was born in 2005. So I was born a little over four years after it happened. So I don't have a story to share with you. So I really can't make a long, elaborate video. Uh, from the amount of videos and pictures and books I've seen, it's a pretty damn horrific day. I can almost, almost imagine it as if I was there. But of course, you really can't imagine what it was like, no matter if you were in New York City or you were down south in Florida or something, you really can't imagine it unless you were there on that day. And that's something that, you know, I wish I knew what it was like. I wish I could have been there for it. But then again, it was a pretty horrific day. So maybe it's a good thing I wasn't. You know, before, well, let's put it this way. September 11, 2001 comes around. And until about 8.30 in the morning, it's just another day. I mean, you know, people are, it's probably about 8.30 in the morning. Millions of Americans are going to work. You know, school children, they're going to school. People are starting their mornings, going to classes if they're in college, going to work, driving to work, listening to the radio, watching the news. It's just a normal day. And then, of course, 8.46 comes around, North Tower gets hit. And, of course, at that point, terrible accident, well... A couple minutes later, South Tower gets hit. It's not an accident. And then, of course, the Pentagon was attacked. And at this point, we're like, okay, this is a terrorist attack. Three attacks, all with planes. This is a terrorist attack. And then, of course, the plane that went down in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, you know, the passengers, they very, honestly, they were very brave. They took control of a plane. Of course, they crash landed it, but it was much better to crash land in a field than... I believe they were probably heading to the White House. I mean, it makes logical sense if you look at the actual path that that plane took. So, yeah, fortunately it never got to that point because very brave people, they risked their lives and they stopped another attack. But it's still, no matter how distant in years we get from the event, it will always have the same weight. It always will, and it will always be a day that marks the turning point. Maybe one turning point, maybe the turning point. You, It's up to you how you interpret that. But what I mean is that day, September 11, 2001, and the coming days afterwards, so many things changed in this country. We were never the same after that. I mean... Look at airport security. That's just an example. It's crazy now. You didn't have anything like that before 9-11. Why would you? Of course, if there was, it probably wouldn't have happened. But that's just an example. Even, uh, I can speak from experience on this, getting thrown out of a building because you have a camera. Well, you might be a threat, so bye. And it's... It's insane and disgusting, the state that our country is in because of what happened on that day. There are a lot of things that would not be able to happen now. Not talking about just airports, but in general. There are a lot of things that could not happen now that, well, 20 years ago, prior to September 11th, they could have happened. Nobody thought about it. It was a no-brainer. That's going to wrap up my video about 9-11. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel that I compiled uh, sometime last year of different videos that are very interesting to watch that relate to 9-11. Um, you can look at it on the playlist tab of my channel. It's just called 9-11 videos. Yeah, quite a somber day. 
20 years later, reflecting on this terrible, horrible attack that happened. Attacks, I have to say attacks plural because it was multiple attacks. And the 2,977 people that lost their lives that day, whether they were firefighters, paramedics, innocent people, lots of innocent people died that day. Well, we never forget. Not only did almost 3,000 people die, over 6,000 were injured. In fact, I think just a couple days ago they found they were able to identify more people who were involved. I think it was a firefighter. I think you can read about that. It's a news story, but that's how bad it is. I mean, it's insane. So, yeah, that's going to wrap up my 9-11 video. Um, check out my playlist. I look forward to seeing some of your video responses. If you were around and you remember it, I would love to see a video response. Uh, of course, people who were born after, say, probably 1993, I would say, is about the cutoff point because after, if you were born in 1993, you would have been eight years old or turning eight when that happened. And so I believe about eight years old, that would be about the time that you would start to remember life things. So if you were born in, I mean, theoretically, if you were born in 1997, you were around for it, but you're really not going to remember much. And you're certainly not going to remember pre-9-11 America, which I would have loved to see. So yeah, after about 1993, 1992, um, you really, I mean, you really, you aren't gonna, you might remember it, but it's not gonna be as it, for example, I think my parents, they were in their mid to late 20s when it happened. They're gonna remember it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear some of your stories, and unfortunately, I wasn't there for it. I wish I could have been, but also at the same time, maybe it's a good thing I'm not. That's gonna wrap up my 9-11 tribute video 20 years later after these horrible attacks. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see and follow me on the web, wix.com slash the elevator world slash fans. Goodbye and never forget the 2,977 people who lost their lives. Never forget. Goodbye.